Uh, in this video, we're going to talk about geometric tolerance analysis. All the videos are available in the playlist for industrial uh, measurement and inspection. What causes a workpiece for uh, a workpiece variation? What causes the problem in the dimension of the workpiece? How come it's not as accurate as you expected it to be? Okay, if the first reason, the machine which does the job it might have a problem in it. The second reason, it might have inaccuracy built in the, into the machine. The s use of the machine are subjected to, for example, to wear, to dulling, okay, chipping, breaking, and if it's okay to regrind, regri regrinding. The machine is used as subjective to the variation in the result, so the machine, in a way, it needs like to be to be to 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 be uh, recalibrated, the involvement of human element and was caused a problem. Any other cause by chance? All this they will cause a problem into the system. Uh, so we talk here about the tolerance. Tolerance, as we said before, is the amount of variation which are allowed by the quality controller. Uh, let's talk about this like really briefly and we'll see it later on uh, during the presentation. So we have what's known as maximum material condition. Maximum material condition. The finished part contains the maximum amount of material. Okay, so the maximum amount of material in a way larger shaft or smallest hole. Because if the hole is bigger, like less material you use to do the workpiece. If the hole is smaller, so more material. Least material condition is the other way is the like contrast from the first one, so smallest shaft and largest hole. Nominal size it has no specific limit or accuracy but indicate a close approximation to some standard size. Uh, for example we say half an inch of shaft will go through a half an inch of uh, hole, for example. Uh, so nominal size is not accurate, it's like approximate amount. The basic size is the exact theoretical size from which the limit are to be driven or to be considered. Okay, so basic size usually is like the h middle in the normal distribution. If you have normal distribution, so basic size is the amount. And then we have the tolerance, the total permissible variation from the specific basis size, if it is a plus minus on the right and left, and limit the extreme maximum and minimum size specified by a, a tolerance uh, dimension, so the limit is like the maximum and minimum size specified, plus minus this amount, okay, so in this case, for example, this is the limit, the value in the middle will be the basic size, allowance is when you're mating two components, shaft and how much the value will be. So let's consider an example here. If we have a hole, a shaft is going to go through a hole, as you can see the numbers here. For example, the maximum material condition for the hole is 1250, and the maximum material condition for the shaft 1248. The least is the other one, because the least material condition is the other one. So in a way here, we could say, uh, well, we have a shaft of 1.24 and it's going to go through a hole of 1.25, so this will be, as we see here, the nominal size. The basic size is literally when you draw a normal distribution and you have the value in the middle. Sorry, this is supposed to be a line, so you have the value in the middle. The value in the middle is 1.255 and the one on the left 1.25 and the one on the right 1.251. So you have the basic size in the middle and then plus minus which is the plus minus is literally the tolerance we have okay and so we have three types of clearance interference fit and transition I'm gonna explain them in this slide uh, clearance fit is when the shaft is much smaller than the uh, hole so the hole here dimension thing if you have the dimension starting from zero and the dimension starting from zero all the way up so the, the, the this is the size of the hole, it goes between two values, and this is the shaft, uh, the size of the shaft. So the hole, for example, this is 1.24, and the values here on this 1.25. So the maximum value of the shaft is much less than the hole, so this is clearance. Transition is stuck between the two, however, interference when the shaft dimension is much bigger than the hole, so you have to do it by force. And here we flip them, so we have so it's also for the hole, and this one fixed here is for the shaft. If you go back to this one, we could see here, okay, we have the basic dimension as if we're placing the shaft 
uh, all the way down on the whole and then we have the maximum material conditions the minimum material condition lower deviation upper deviation and this value as well how does it fit into this system okay so we have the variation on the whole between those two values and then we have variation of the shaft between those two values and we have the zero line here the zero line between the two of them okay so uh, if we come back to here, this is the same example, if you try it, so we have the shaft 2.495, the maximum material condition is much less, so this is clearance, so here it's between the two, so it's transition, and if it is much bigger than the hole, so it is interference fit, okay, and then we move to the geometric tolerance analysis, date on plane, date on feature, and date on target, so we start by collaborating if the surface, like if you zoom into the surface using a microscope, the surface is not really smooth, so it has this like up and down in the surface. So if we imagine on our heads we place the surface on a datum plane, so this is like the main primary datum, will be like the one at the bottom, and then we have, like we need at least of three points of contact between the object and the datum plane, and then we have what is known as secondary datum plane we need a minimum context of two so those are the reference we have the one at the bottom and the one at the top so we consider in this example as we see in here we have one two and three so in this example the whole is located from datum feature a b and c which are the features we have they have the primary the secondary uh, plane uh, so the feature controls means that the hole is positioned perpendicular to datum A, so it's positioned perpendicular to the uh, A here, the hole, and then at a distance from 20 millimeter from B and C, as you can see it here, at a distance from 20 millimeters. So the point here is perpendicular on the one below, there is a distance of 20 to the left and 20 to the right. With one millimeter diameter tolerance zones, it can be shown as it's illustrated below. So if you have the hole here, so this is the set of the hole, so we have the line here and the line here, so there's a variation of one millimeter between those two values. Like if you imagine this is like a line going all the way down perpendicular to datum plane, there is a variation between those two lines here.